Hey guys, so for those of you who do permaculture or have wild crafting types of plants, I wanted to show you what I'm doing right now. I have a bucket with crab apple trees and nanking cherries. A few raspberries got in there too, but no big deal. Um, another crab apple, another batch of nanking cherries. And I have a lady coming from Craigslist to come get all these trees that I would have had to weed whack down. Um, hey guys, that I would have had to weed whack down or burn or feed to the goats. And so my opinion is that instead of cutting down your young seedlings, let them grow to a size that you can um, pot them up. Hey, micro farm starter, how are you? Hey there, that everyday Kira. Um, so I'm saying when you're teeny tiny, let's see if I can find one that's really, really little. Um, I, might, I might not have one right here. They're more over by the Nanking cherries. Let's see, maybe I can find some. When they first come up and they're seedlings, like this, rather than cutting them down or covering them with mulch, let them grow for another year. And then instead of coming in with the weed whacker, hold on, Dad, I'll call you back. Um, instead of coming in with the weed whacker, I know it's it will fill unsightly for a couple years, but um, the cost to just go get even yogurt containers work well. And all you really have to do is wait until you're ready to sell them. I just dug those up just now, as she's coming to pay for them, and. Um, and that way, they're no bother to me. I don't have a whole bunch of potted plants over here that I need to water. They're just getting watered because that's where they already are. Oh, hey guys. So, life in the UP, Beach Family Homestead, Carol Hardy. Yeah, exactly. It's it's weeds, and if you if you let them get to a certain size, they're really easy to keep maintained. There's my dad. I should have turned the volume down before I started. But you can do that with pretty much anything. As long as you have water in, the, in that spot, as long as you have some manure, that if, as long as your soil is always improving, eventually those plants that have seeds or runners or any of those things, they'll spread. And it won't happen for the first couple of years. 